always knew that I would end up having kids in the mission field because I always wanted kids and also knew that I would be a missionary. I'm not sure if I had a clear vision of what that would look like. When we first moved here, I was like full-time missionary. I was the one interacting the most with the people. I was doing a lot of medical work. I was taking people to hospitals. I was going to their homes and caring for them. And since I've had kids, I've had to kind of step back and away from that outside of the home work. Now my day is mostly homekeeping and child rearing. And then I continue to minister to my neighbors and friends in ways that I can, but it looks different. I always have to remember that my kids are my first mission field, prioritizing them, but also then involving them in the visiting and whatever we're doing seems to bring them joy and give them a sense of purpose too. And I hope, I hope to do what my parents did for me and instill in them a joy for service to others. I need to find my fulfillment and my purpose right now in this season in mothering my children, discipling them. They're honestly little disciples that we want to be missionaries someday in their own ways. And right now I'm a disciple maker with my children. Most of our neighbors have never seen a Christian family and what that means. And so I remember when we were living in another village when we first arrived in Cambodia, it was very eye-opening to my friends to watch my husband help me with the house chores, like hanging laundry or washing dishes. Whenever they'd come to visit, they'd see that and they would be like, what, your husband helps you? And in this culture, um, that doesn't happen. And so then having children here in the mission field and showing them how a Christian family lives and that we have discipline and that um, we have certain values has really been eye-opening to our friends, especially as we're out visiting, but also as they're watching every move we make <laughs> around the house or if they're visiting our home. And I know that one of our closest friends that has become a baptized member now, this was one of the biggest impacts she said was watching our family interact and how we loved each other unconditionally and how we helped each other. I am glad that my children are gonna grow up in the mission field because they're going to develop such a broad worldview. They will learn to love people of all types and to show God's love to people no matter their belief or their color or their economic status or anything. I want my children to have a heart for missions. I want them to be involved as they grow up in the work that we're doing. I want it to be part of them as well. Ultimately, it will enrich their lives so much to grow up in between cultures and getting to see more of God's creation, learning to love people as Jesus did. Don't think that um, our life here is easy and we don't have challenges just like you do back home, but why not bring your kids to a new place and experience something different and raise them for Jesus here? There's lots of opportunities where you can involve the whole family, and I think that's one of the greatest joys for me being here is being able to serve my family, but then alongside them serve other people. Is it hard? Yeah, it is hard sometimes. but. I think life is hard anywhere. What matters is that God is there walking alongside you. 